Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel and welcome to your bonus reading. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. And today is the 9th of December 2022. Time is 9.56 a.m. Bali Indonesian time. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Gemini need to hear today. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Not even one pentacle here. There are so many cups. The Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups, and the King of Cups in my So this could be related to your and ten of cups <laughs> to your romantic situation. Okay. The high priestess here in my verse can indicate somebody opening up you know perhaps telling you how they feel about you two wands here in my first feels like a decision is going to be made here um again roles can be reversed between you and this person okay could be you or this person but somebody is going to open up and say something in regards to how they feel and what they're thinking with the king of swords here after an ending with the death card unless if there is no ending the death card can indicate transformation so you may hear from someone saying that they have changed they have transformed or they want to trans transform or change this connection um because there have been something that has happened in the past six of cups in reverse some bad memories someone is going to want to hash things out with you unless there's a spirit's way of encouraging you to hash things out with your person tell this person exactly what you're thinking how you're feeling and the death card here it, it feels like this is it kind of an energy right um say a piece and then whatever happens happens but this is it that kind of an energy i'm getting here okay could be you or this person but i definitely sense because the king of swords is you it's your energy perhaps not for all of you but for at least 50 percent of you i feel like this could be really encouraging you to say your piece speak your mind and then que sera sera whatever will be will be right with the death here if it's gonna end or is it gonna have this new beginning that is being transformed um, into a better beginning, right? Um, into a, yeah, better beginning, better start. That's what I'm getting here. But the high persistent members and the ten of cups here, it does feel like this person may reveal something about the future to you or say something to you about the future. Or maybe spirits could be encouraging you to discuss with a certain someone if you're currently connected with someone and speak what you expect of them in the future because you're starting to plan now right with the king of swords it doesn't matter king or queen is not gender specific maybe it's time to plan maybe it's time to put aside or put away or walk away from things that are not part of your plan people who won't be on board with you okay and two of wands in my verse seven of wands in my verse and the king of cups in my verse so someone may just express to you right um and making this decision to put down their guards and express to you what how they feel and um i think for a lot of you this may be someone you have had bad memories with and you could be separated from this person but i feel like gemini remember i kept saying that there were cups here so that means things haven't happened yet or it's not materialized yet or it could just be promises uh, feelings and there are no pentacles so nothing is being materialized nothing has become a reality yet so spirits could be saying that just don't take their words for it don't just take how you feel about it to that um to influence your decision right um, because the king of swords here is an intelligent king very uh, strategic and swords indicates thoughts again intelligence clarity honesty 
uh, also a very cutting energy so no bs no nonsense so spirit says don't take any sorts of nonsense from this person it may seem it may sound good it may um invoke a certain feelings um from you but it may not mean it's it may not mean that it's going to happen. So empty promises, I'm hearing here. Don't take somebody's promises or somebody's words for it. It has to come with proper actions and proper structure, plans, um, some strategy here. And that's uh, what I'm getting, okay? Gemini, I'm going to pull out a few more cards. See, Ace of Cups, so many cups. See, not even one pentacle. So I'm not surprised with the Seven of Swords here. So this person, again, it could be this person or you, but that's a strategy in place, right? Offering love, being romantic, saying what they, what you, telling you what you need to hear, knowing that that's what's gonna, you know, um, make you perhaps do something that they want you to do, or get things to go their way with the Seven of Swords here. But with the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups again, Spirit saying, mm, this person may want a second chance, may tell you that they have changed by love bombing you with Ace of Cups. But be aware, because those are just words. Um, we don't really know. We don't really know that if this is for real. Because again, I don't trust that these are all cups and there's not even one pentacle here. So to just be aware if there's somebody, and this person can be anybody, okay? Could be a romantic partner, could be a friend, but some promises that I feel, you know, that I'm not sure if this person could fulfill, right? Um, so you gotta make sure with the King of Swords and the Death here that this person is 100% transformed and things are going to really change. And it is what whatever they say that they're gonna fulfill it, okay? Um, for some of you, you may need to put things in writing. Some of you, they need to make it official, you know, getting married if this is a romantic situation. And the four wands in reverse and ace of wands in reverse can get, you know, someone from your past may want to sneak their way back into your life. And this person has been giving you a lot of stress. Or this person could have been thinking or stressing out in regards of uh, asking for a second chance and offering you love and hashing things out with you, wanting to reconcile. Four wands in reverse, it does feel like um, this is someone you used to live in together in the same house or could have been in a relationship together or could have been talking could have talked about engagement marriage and whatnot but it didn't ace of wands and over someone ended up rejecting it um or it didn't come into fruition but still make sure though gemini i feel like spirits are trying to say that still make sure that if this person confesses something to you um, make sure it's for real and that it's just not talk all talk all right gemini this is your reading i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm going to leave you with a couple of playlists it's on the screen right now the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel check it out if you want to and the second playlist is from this channel it has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions but these readings are still new so they're still relevant because i post them almost every single day i in fact upload them right away once i'm done with all the readings so it's as live as it can be all right gemini i hope to uh, see you back here later or tomorrow take care Gemini bye